Assalamu alaikum to everyone. Our current chapter is correlation. In the previous lecture, we were discussing about Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation. But today, we are going to discuss about the Charles Sparman's rank correlation. How the correlation coefficient is calculated by Charles Sparman's rank correlation. This topic pertains to HSE part first. Before we will go through the competition of Charles Sparman's rank correlation, let us have a brief reflection on the meaning of Sparman's rank correlation. You know that the Sparman's rank correlation coefficient is denoted by RS is the non-parametric version of the Pearson's coefficient of correlation. Sparman's returns a value from minus 1 to plus 1 where minus plus 1 denotes a perfect positive correlation between the two ranks and minus 1 denotes a perfect negative correlation between the two ranks. Now, we have an example here. Through this example, we can understand how the Charles Sparman's rank calculation is, rank coefficient of correlation is calculated. Sparman's rank correlation coefficient is calculated by two ways. One is non-tight ranks and another is tight ranks. This time, we are going to calculate the Charles Sparman's rank correlation by tight no, no tight ranks. See here, we have a formula to calculate the Charles Sparman's rank correlation. The formula is Charles Sparman's rank correlation, or you can say RK rank correlation is equal to 1 minus 6 sigma d square divided by n into n square minus 1. Or you can say RK Charles Sparman's rank correlation is equal to 1 minus 6 summation of d square means we have to calculate the differences from the ranks and making the square of those differences that is d square adding up those values that is summation of d square n in, divided by n into n square minus 1 n means the number of values in a variable or the number of items in a variable n into n square minus 1 you can say n q minus n because n is multiplied to n square minus 1 when n is multiplied to n square it is n cube minus 1 n is multiplied to 1 that is n so you can write 1 minus 6 sigma d square divided by n cube minus n we have an example here simple question the scores are for 9 students in physics and mathematics are as follows though we have the two variables here in the shape of the marks obtained by the students, nine students in two subjects, physics and mathematics. So we have the two variables in the shape of physics and mathematics. We are asked to calculate the Sparman's coefficient of correlation by the rank method. So compute the student's rank in two subjects, that is mathematics and physics. We have the values in physics, marks obtained by the nine students, 35, 23, 47, 17, 10, 43, 9, 6, and 28. And then marks in mathematics, we have 30, 33, 45, 23, 8, 49, 12, 4, 31. Now, we have the different steps here to calculate the Charles Sparman's rank correlation. See here, in the, we have four, four columns in the table. We have uh, actually two variables here, physics and mathematics. In physics, we have marks, let me repeat again, 35, 23, 47, 17, 10, 43, 9, 6, and 28. See column 3, math, the variable here, and we have the marks in this mathematics, 30, 33, 45, 23, 8, 49, 12, 4, 31. This is our question in original. Now we have to assign the ranks to calculate the Charles Sparman's rank correlation. See column 2 and 4. In column 2, we are assigning the ranks. We are assigning the rank first to the highest value in the variable and rank last. I mean, say the lowest rank to that value, which is the lowest value in the variable. <coughs> See here, we have assigned rank 1 to 47 because it is highest item in physics. Highest mark scored by students. Rank 1 to 47. And then we are assigning growing rank 2 to 43. We are assigning rank 3 to 35. We are assigning rank 4 to 28. Then 5 to 23.
then 6 to 17, then 7 to 10, then 8 to 9, then 8 to 9, then 9 to 6. So we are assigning the ranks in this way. Now we are going to assign the rank to second variable that is male. Here we have assigned rank 1 to 49 and rank 2 to 45, rank 3 to 33, rank 4 to 31, rank 5 to 30, rank 6 to 45, rank 7 to 14, rank 7 to 12, rank 8 to 8 to 8, and rank 9 to 4. We have the lowest value here, 4, so we are assigning the lowest rank, that's 9. Now we have to make the difference between the rank 1st and rank 2nd to get the D. See the, now table 2nd, see, we have here 6 columns, 4 of the first column, first table, now we are making the difference between the ranks, rank 1 and rank 2. See, column number 4, column number 4 and column number 5. We are subtracting R2, rank 2, the, which we have given to mathematics and rank 1, which we have given to maths obtained in the physics. So here, we are making the difference between the ranks. The difference of the ranks is 3 minus 5, that's 2, 5 minus 3, that's minus 2, that's 2, 1 minus, 1 minus 2, that's minus 1, 6 minus 6, that is 0, 7 minus 8, that's minus 1, 2 minus 1, that's minus 1, 8 minus 7, that's minus 1, now 9 minus 9, that's 0, 4 minus 5, 4 minus 4, that's 0. Now we are making the square of these, square of these different rank differences, that is d square. 2 into 2, 2 is 4, 2 into 2 is 4, 1 into 1, 1, 0 into 0, 0, 1 into 1, 1, 1 into 1, 1, 1 into 1, 1, 0 into 0, 0, 0 into 0, 0. Now this is d square, making the square of those differences from rank 1 to rank 2. Now, see here, the summation of d square is 4 plus 4 plus 1 plus 0 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 0 plus 0 is equal to 12. So we have summation of d square is equal to 12. Now, using the values in the formula, <coughs> we have the formula called Charles Sperman's rank correlation 1 minus 6 sigma d square divided by n into n square minus 1. That is 1 in the formula. We have 6 of the formula. Summation of d square is 12 into divided by 9 is the number of values in the item 9 square minus 1. So see here, 1 minus 72 means 6 into 12, that is 72, divided by 9 into 81, minus 9 into 1 means 9, that is 720. So dividing 70, 72 divided by 720, we have 1 minus 0 0.1, that is equal to 0 0.9. This is how we are calculating the Charles Sparman's rank correlation. The Sparman's rank correlation coefficient here is, by the rank method is equal to 0 0.9. That means there is a per perfect positive correlation between the two variables that is mathematics. Much obtained in physics and mathematics. Thank you very much for watching.